What's up guys, Leopold the Brave here, and I'm back with another Q&A. Sorry it was such a long break since the last one, but Tekken 7 came out, and of course I had lots of Tekken 7 themed videos to make, but now I'm back doing another Q&A, so be sure to ask more questions down below, a limit of three, you can ask anything, and um, here we go, on to the questions. Josh Johnson asked a bunch of which do I like more questions, so here we go. Maids or nurses? Um, nurses I guess, because they actually help you. Whereas maids just clean your house, which you should be doing yourself in the first place instead of being lazy. Pokemon or Digimon? Pokemon! Marvel or DC? Marvel! And Sailor Moon versus any of the Sailor Moon knockoffs. Um, I don't know any Sailor Moon knockoffs, so Sailor Moon? Stofferex asks, can we expect any superheroes to appear on universes? <clears throat> well, um... I'll, I'll um, elaborate more on the state of universes in a future video, but for now I have no comment. Second question, Tekken Waifu. Ooh, 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 it used to be Asuka, but now she's battling Lily and also Lucky Chloe. All three of them, I, I can't choose. They're my three, my three girls. I, I just can't decide. Mm. Uh, question number three, um, what are my thoughts on Tekken 7's ending? Okay. The game's two weeks old now, so hopefully all my viewers know the ending by now since I'm mainly a Tekken channel. Um, so hopefully it's safe to discuss this, but spoiler warning in case you have not seen it. Um, I'm very sad. I did not want Heihachi to die. <laughs> I wanted Kazuya to die because he Heihachi's way cooler and so is Jin. But luckily, hopefully Jin will kill him in Tekken 8 because there was a cliffhanger at the end. So basically, the ending was sad, but good. K Man Ka Okay, I'm not even finishing your username. You know who you are. You always pop up in these. I don't know how. This, even even if there's a question not interesting, you always end up popping up in these Q&As, like this first one here. What's your favorite emoji? I don't have a favorite emoji. I barely use emojis. Well, why did I pick this question? It's not even that good. Did I just pick it for the sake of the running joke of you always appearing in the Q&As no matter what? <laughs> I don't know. Question number two. What's my favorite YouTuber that's not myself? Um, Rebel Taxi 99 also known as Pan Pizza. And is there a fan base that I really, really, really hate? The answer to that would be any fan base that involves like 40 year old men enjoying a show meant for 6 year old girls. Pretty much any fan base covering that, cause that is creepy. I hate it. XX Saku Hana Faito XX, ugh, that username. <laughs> no offense. Um, asks, how long would a boat made of bricks last in the ocean? Um, it would last forever in the ocean because it would sink and get stuck there, thus eternally being in the ocean. So, I say I say a boat made completely out of bricks would last a pretty good amount of time in the ocean. Whether it sinks or floats, it, it'll still last in the ocean. Question number two. How's the job training been coming along? Oh boy. This is the worst program I've ever been to. They're not even helping. It's it's basically a school. And it's... It's not fun. Get me out. Get me out. Question number three. Will I be reacting to any upcoming death battles? Um, probably not. Because, I don't know, I just haven't done death battle reactions in a while because of my computer fans still being crazy and it'd be loud and pick up on the microphone and all that, which is why I have to keep the microphone far away so you can't hear it so I'm not looking at the screen. And also because I just haven't been interested in Death Battle lately. I'm starting to get a bit bored with the show. I mean, nothing against the show. It's still doing fine. I mean, the fights are still good. But I'm just no matchups that I'm super duper interested in. Like, I like Sub-Zero and uh, Captain Marvel vs. Android 18 was okay. It wasn't bad, it just wasn't very exciting for me because I don't have a huge attachment to either of those characters. And then the next one, Metal Sonic vs. Zero, I really like Zero a lot, so that's cool to see Zero. But it's not a, a big, big fight. I need a big fight to keep my death battle juices pumping and flowing again. That was a really weird way of putting it, but you get the point. The Real SK47 asks, from all the major cartoon channels of the 2010s, which are my least favorite and most favorite from each? Um, I don't know what he means. Maybe he means shows from each channel, I guess. So, I guess I'll do that. Um, for Nickelodeon, uh, my favorite would probably be The Loud House, because it's, it's... or Harvey Beaks, because those have basically been the only two good cartoons to come from Nickelodeon out of the 2010s. And my least favorite is Modern, modern SpongeBob, of course, but it's been getting better 
with late season 9 and season 10 now that Stephen Hillenberg has come back to the show. For Cartoon Network, my favorites have been uh, Regular Show and Adventure Time, the early seasons of Adventure Time, because later it just got way too convoluted and kind of boring, actually. It, it's not it's not charmingly weird, it's just kind of meh weird. Like, this makes no sense, instead of feeling magical, it, it just feels confusing. Um, but my least favorite, uh, Problem Solvers, all that very weird stuff they tried, like Secret Mountain Fort Awesome, all just those grossly, bizarrely animated ones. And for Disney Channel, Gravity Falls would be my number one favorite. Um, Milo Murphy's Law is also pretty good, and I don't watch much Disney Channel, so I don't think I have a least favorite, so that's basically that. Hero of the Emblem asks, Without looking, how much of the B-movie script do I remember? Because I did do a full reading one time, but it got taken down for copyright because of DreamWorks. <clears throat> so anyways, here it goes. <clears throat> According to all known laws of aviation, there is no way a bee should be able to fly. Its wings are too small to get its fat little body off the ground. The bee, of course, flies anyways, because bees do not care what humans think is impossible. Yellow black, yellow black, yellow black, yellow black, yellow black, oh, black and yellow, let's shake it up a little. Barry, breakfast is ready, coming, hang on a second, hello, Adam, Barry, can you believe this is actually happening? I can't, I'll pick you up, looking sharp, and that's as much as I can remember. My mind goes completely blank after that, because I think at that point in the script I was just in a complete trance. Question number two, what do I think of the Boss Baby 2 being confirmed already? <laughs> Question number three, if I could recommend one anime to you and why, what would it be? Um, Hajime no Ippo, because it's not just your generic average sports anime. It actually has a lot of super duper tense moments, the music's really good, and the characters are all, are all interesting for once. Usually in sports animes they're pretty generic, like, oh I want to be the best, and goofy sidekicks. But here, all the characters are very interesting, like, there are goofy psychics, of course, but they're way more fleshed out, have their own stories, and they're a lot more interesting. Takamura is one of my favorites, he's like the big show-off guy, but he genuinely does care for his pals and all that, and they're just a joy to watch, and the teacher is awesome, and the animation's really good, and it's all tense, and... <laughs> Ippo... Gotta... You, you, you should watch it, it's so good. AJ Harararararara asks, what is my favorite video game boss? Oh, definitely um, Shin Akuma from Tekken 7. Like, the special chapter where you fight him and he's all like super hard. He's got armor, one-hit kills, um, extra defense. He does double damage. He can regenerate. Just all this crazy stuff to make it ridiculously hard, but it's so fun. I've played it over so many times. It's definitely my new favorite uh, boss. Question number two, which languages do I speak? English, of course a little bit of Spanish, and a very, very, very little bit of German. Like, very little bit. And question number three, what do I think of Overwatch? Uh, never played it. I just researched Tracer for fictional fights. That's the extent of my Overwatch experience. And it was just gameplay and cinematic watching and lore researching and all that. Not actual playing the game myself, because you don't get any, you don't get any info from that anyway, so whatever. Brayden Liddock, DOD, asks, Teen Titans Go, it sucks, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, favorite Disney movie? Hmm. It switches constantly, so I don't have like an absolute favorite over all time, but I keep going back to Princess and the Frog. That's such an underrated Disney movie, and so maybe, maybe that one, since I keep going back to it so much. Um, and question number three. Do I believe in love at first sight? Um, uh, no. I believe in, ooh, she fine at first sight, but not love at first sight, because you have to get to know someone. You can't just love someone just based on their appearance alone. I mean, you might have a sweet little interaction with them, like maybe you bump into them and then they drop something and you pick it up for them and then you have a nice exchange and that could lead to something but you won't, like, fall in love immediately. You might just go, oh, she looks nice or she seems nice or all, all that. You don't just fall head over heels over someone immediately right away. Ethan Espinel asks, favorite game console, PlayStation 2, but also PlayStation 4 because that's getting a lot better for me now that Tekken is here and Crash is coming out very, very soon. Question number two, favorite cartoon Fight Club episode? I think I've already answered this, but whenever Animation Rewind uses a Tekken character because he always, thankfully, hopefully uses my info maybe because I've sent him info before and all that and I don't know. <clears throat> but the Tekken characters end up winning, so it makes me happy. That's why I like them. <laughs> and question number three. Mewtwo versus Goku Black. 
Goku Black. Oh, Mewtwo? Really? What kind of question is that? Of course Goku Black wins this one. That's not even close. JJ Slider asks, Favorite anime waifu? Ooh, it's a tie between Aki Hinata from Sergeant Frog and Stocking from Panty and Stocking. They are both precious little cinnamon rolls. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a loser weeb. <laughs> uh, question number two. Least favorite video game. Oh, that one's actually easy to answer. There was this Frogger game on the PlayStation 2. I don't remember exactly what it was called. It was like Frogger's Grand Quest or something, or Great Quest or something. But it was this 3D Frogger with like a vest and a backpack, I think. And he was in shorts. And he was like more anthropomorphic instead of shaped like an actual frog and it was it, it played nothing like frogger and it was all glitchy and out of control and all whack i think they played it on game grumps or something i think i think i think i'm not sure i think they did though and there's like only four levels in the game it's all janky and glitchy and it, it's it's awful and finally question number three who are my mains in tekken Jin, obviously, Heihachi, obviously, and now that Tekken 7's out, Claudio is actually working really well for me. I really like the way Claudio plays, so uh, Claudio, Claudio may also be a new main for me. So those are my three mains for Tekken. And that's all the questions we have today. Be sure to send more in the comment section below, and I'll see you guys next time.